Hey Tackle Ross fans, Jake here with this week's episode of What's New at TW. It is Bassmaster Classic season, which means we got a bunch of Bassmaster Classic release items. We got some stuff in early that's actually in stock, available to buy right now. Uh, the first one, the first few here are all gonna be from Daiwa. This first one is the new Daiwa Zillion series of rods. Incredible series of rods. So we got them in spinning and casting. Uh, this is a Awesome series, they come in at 329 bucks. They've got their X45 blank technology, so that X45 wrapping on the blank, which allows them to make a lighter weight blank and just reduce the amount of material, increase your sensitivity, and increase the strength. So when this rod's under load, it just really helps with any of the kind of ovalization that could make the blank buckle under high stress situations. So super, super strong blank material, super sensitive. Uh, Fuji guides on there down at the handle, so most noticeable. They went with kind of a hybrid uh, grip design on this, so it does have a cork handle, which is really nice and comfortable. It looks awesome. My favorite feature, though, is the air sensor reel seat. So I've used a couple Daiwa rods that have this air sensor reel seat, and it's a great material. It's made out of their Zion material, so it's, it's incredibly rigid, so it does transmit vibration super, super well and it's super comfortable the way they molded it, the way your fingers wrap in there. So it's great, it's super comfortable and it's gonna increase sensitivity. And then down on the end, they did a monocoque butt handle uh, on the bottom of the handle here. So uh, again, it just overall, it's gonna decrease weight and increase that sensitivity. And just, you're gonna have that thing rested against your arm right there. And you're gonna feel all the light bites and just tiny bits of tr uh, vibration transmissions when you're when your rod or your your, uh, your bait's like going through some pebbles or something like that. But great series of rods. They got a ton of different actions. Uh, the new Zillion series from Daiwa. Now, we do have the new uh, BF70 BFS Tatula. So, um, so specifically designed for BFS fishing. So the new Tatula 70, I mean, super lightweight, really comfortable in the hand. And it is the same size and frame as the other Tatula 70, but this spool is way more shallower than the other 70. So it only holds about 50 or 60 yards of eight pound. So incredibly shallow. With that T-wing system, it's really designed to throw those ultra, ultra lightweight baits. So with that whiffled spool on there, I mean, it takes such little force to get that thing to spin and has very low inertia. So you can put on five pound, six pound fluorocarbon and throw those tiny little crankbaits. So if you're looking for a reel that you wanna BFS fish with, um, this one is a great option. It comes in, I believe, at 239 bucks. So a uh, great mid-tier price point. Not as expensive as some of the, of the super high-end BFS reels out there on the market. The next one is a super high-end reel. The new Steez SVTW. I don't even like holding this thing in my hand because I don't want to damage it and owe the company any money. Uh, but this thing comes in at 750 bucks. So not made for everyone. But uh, Daya was flagship casting reel. It is incredible. Only 5.6 ounces, and when you put this thing in your hand, it doesn't feel like you're holding anything. So it's a magnesium frame and side plate, so just really reducing that weight and overall making this thing super strong, but still remain super, super lightweight. It does have the SV spool in there, so it reduces all the backlashing, but casting distance is phenomenal. And they do have the new hyper drive design inside this reel, so they've got the the double supported pinion gears in there. So just overall the internals of the reel, it keeps everything from flexing and makes everything super smooth and keeps everything in line, especially when you have the reel under load. But man, when you crank this reel, I believe it's a 12 plus one bearing system and it's buttery, buttery smooth. So if you're looking for you know the most high end reel, super lightweight, looks incredible. That kind of charcoal color on the outside looks great on just about any rod but if you're looking for an ultra high-end reel from Daiwa the new Steez is in stock right now. All right a couple new a uh, couple new lines from well one from Berkeley and then one from Spiderwire. Spiderwire we got through an easy braid. This is a super easy casting easy to manage braided line. It's a eight carrier construction so it is really smooth. One of those braids that's a lot smoother on the reel than some of the rougher braids out there on the market, but a phenomenal braid at a great price. Another great line at a great price is new Berkeley Trilene Big Game Fluorocarbon. The Big Game Mono, I've been using that ever since I was a kid. I don't know how many spools of that stuff I've ever bought and just known for how strong and robust that line is and at a great price point. Now you can get 350 yard spool of fluorocarbon for $9.99. So a great price point. 
And they got a bunch of different sizes, so if you need a line, uh, you know, you don't want to spend a ton of money on fluorocarbon. Uh, if you want to use it for leaders, stuff like that, or just you want to, you know, if you're casting your stuff and you know you're going to tear up, tear up a lot of line, uh, Big Game would be a great option for that as well. So it's incredibly strong, uh, really abrasion resistant, fluorocarbon, nearly invisible to fish, and it has a lot less stress, stretch than mono. So if you're used to regular Big Game mono filament, you know, there's a lot of stretch in that line. If you want to reduce that stretch, you can try out Big Game fluorocarbon and reduce that stretch and get yourself a little bit more sensitivity, but at a great price point for the spool. All right, from uh, Great Lakes Finesse. So we got a new little swim bait head. So with the, the craze of, of live scope fishing, they've got a couple new swim bait heads that are awesome. Uh, this one here with the, the line tie up on the nose, it just keeps your bait tracking straight all the time. Nice head design, nice big 3D eye wire keeper, and then a fine wire hook on there. So if you're really using those lighter lines and really trying to cast way out to fish, when you're in really clear water with pressured fish, that light wire is gonna help you just, uh, just have a more stealth presentation and then get phenomenal hook penetration as well. They've also got their new, uh, the Juvie Craw. So it's kind of a hybrid tube craw. So they've actually designed this bait to fit their micro tube jig head. So it is a hollow body. So it's kind of a hybrid between a tube and a craw bait. So you can put a little tube head in there and work this thing along the bottom, but it's just gonna be a little bit different presentation than most of your tubes out there and have those little pinchers on there with a little antenna. So uh, just something a little bit different than most of the other tubes and just give those fish a little bit more realistic look, especially when you have those clear water scenarios. The next one there, Helgramite, I mean, super realistic, something that, something that those Northern anglers all like to use on maybe a drop shot split shot rig, small Carolina rig, the big smallmouth love to eat these things. So another Helgramite offering out there on the market made out of a pretty durable plastic material as well. So you're gonna be able to catch a lot of them smallmouth and it's not gonna tear it up as well and catch a lot of big, big fish on these little insect baits. From Spro, we got a bunch of stuff from Spro. This first one is their, their new, uh, I think it's a zero swimmer wake bait. Uh, I mean, it's a four inch bait. It weighs five eighths of an ounce, comes in at 11.99 and comes out of the box with Spro Power split rings on it and Gamagatsu round bend treble hooks on there. So out of the box, ready to fish. You don't have to upgrade any of the hardware. There's a bunch of great colors. So coming up here pretty soon when the bass spawns uh, finishing up, the shad spawn starts you know, relatively closely afterward. And then into the summer when you start getting those schooling fish, especially on those blue back herring lakes, this little wake bait from Spro, it's just gonna have that nice slithering action, but that big bill on there is gonna push a bunch of water. So perfect profile and a nice wake bait there from Spro. The other thing we got from Spro is a bunch of new colors in the Little John 45 Micro DD crankbait. So an awesome crankbait. It's a really small profile, flat sides on it. I've caught a ton of fish on these cranks and now they just added 10 new colors. And half of those colors are, are all kind of craw inspired colors. So we have the, like the Western craw, I think this one's the Blood Craw. There's a Rayburn Craw in there. Bunch of different craw colors, but then there's also a few others like Fire Tiger and a few other shad colors mixed in as well. So a bunch of new colors in the Little John Micro DD 45. Again, these are phenomenal cranks. Come with premium hardware, Gamagatsu hooks on them, and a nice little flat side if you're still, still dealing with some cold water situations. From Excite, we got a new popper from Excite. Uh, the new Villain Topwater Popper. This is a great popper. It's a little bit larger than some of the other poppers on the market, so it's gonna be super easy to cast. So, you know, nice full-size popper. It's, it's got a ton of rattles in it, so that little bit of extra weight's gonna help you cast it and make a ton of noise. What's great about this popper is if you check out the color schemes that we have online, they all look like they're custom painted, you know, hand painted airbrush colors. So all the colors are really cool. The hardware on these. So they put KVD triple grips right out of the box. So a feather dress treble on the back, and then you got a nice triple grip right up there on the front. So again, one of those baits, you don't have to upgrade anything, comes ready to fish right out of the box with premium hardware on it, and they come in premium colors. From Zoom, one, this one's one of the most anticipated baits. Uh, all the guys in the office are super stoked that these come in, and I'm sure uh, a, few, a few packs have gone out of the office as well in the, in the guys' boxes getting ready for upcoming tournaments. So the new Shimmer Shad from Zoom is a awesome uh, vibrating jig trailer. So any kind of vibrating jig, chatter baits, 
But other things like spinner baits, buzz baits, uh, swim jigs, you can also use this trailer. But it's a small, narrowed out, you know, really thin kind of bait fish profile up on the top, but back on the back that all the different cuts they put into the tail on there, they removed a ton of material and they put that nice flat kind of shad profile tail on the back. So on a vibrating jig, this thing's gonna have so much freedom to just move back there and swim and get a great swimming action. But like I said, you can use it on more than just a, a vibrating jig, but they did make it for that and it's gonna be a phenomenal trailer. There's a, we got a bunch of colors in right now, but we do have a bunch more colors coming very soon. So keep your eyes tuned on the website if you're looking for new vibrating jig trailer. The last one, uh, one that I'm really pumped about, the new Huddleston 68 hollow body. Uh, so, you know, a little bit different than all the other HUDs that we got. Uh, this is the first one I've ever seen that's a hollow body. And I'm super stoked to try it out. With the hollow body, they designed this to fish on on like a 9.0 or 10.0 screw lock unweighted swim bait hook. And they really designed this bait to fish shallow and fish through like toolies and brush. And it's just that, that, that shank of the hook is gonna be just enough weight to just get it to barely sink. And you can fish it right through the top of cover. But if you want to, if you wanna fish it deeper in a fully weedless profile and have a 68 that's a fully weedless bait and have a big giant hook in it, you can run a like a weighted beast hook or something like that and you can fish it out deeper through deeper brush, through deeper rocks where typically you might get a regular huddle stem with a top hook but typically get snagged. Now you can put a weighted hook on there and get it through some stuff you've never been able to get a, a, a huddle stem style bait into. So super stoked to try one of these out. Gonna get one of those, uh, those unweighted hooks and fish it through the top of some of that cover. Right now it's gonna be a great time to do that. If you can get into some areas that are just choked with vegetation and you can't get a bait to run cleanly through it, especially with a like a chatterbait or something that's got a top hook on there. Might want to try that. It's going to be a big meal. Run it right over the top of some fish and they will crush this thing. That's going to wrap up today's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of the products seen here today, click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.